Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be looking at a priest deck which I believe is very strong for defeating my Exna in heroic mode. It's called Arsonist, and um, I beat her with it a bunch of times last night, um, but it was too late to record. Undoing versus my Exna. So we're going to be looking at it today. The light shall bring victory. We mulligan exclusively for Wild Pyromancer, which is really the heart of this deck. Um, Holy Nova and Power Word Shield because it's such a good activator for Wild Pyro. Don't quite have what we want yet, but hopefully we will draw into it. So the general idea of this deck, it's a very control focused deck where you're going to deal with her board and your goal is to whittle it down until she basically has no cards and no minions and then you take complete control of the game. An important concept is that you are waiting for your combos. So you may be tempted in early turns to play your cheap spells like Holy Smite and Mind Vision because you don't have another play and they do something good but you really 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 want to save them for your Wild Pyromancer. You almost never want to play a cheap spell without your Wild Pyro. I don't have my Voodoo Doctor yet, so I think healing... I'm gonna go into Shadow Form so I can kill the Die Wolf Alpha. Since I don't have a good way to actually kill anything just yet. I'd really love a Holy Nova or a Wild Pyro at this point. A uh, Master Spell might be quite strong now. So the Nerubian Egg will not pop into a 4-4 when I do some AoE. Yeah, so this is a great turn 4-5 combo. Master Spell, because all of this stuff, all literally every single one has an effect you'd like to get rid of, and now Holy Nova will wipe the board. Oh, that's bad. One of the few failure states of this deck is that she draws Sea Giant before you get your big game hunt, before you get one of your four answers to it. So that's actually more damage, but I just have no way. I have a Shadow of Death. Well, that saves me more damage right now than clearing the rest of the board. Big Game Hunter is the ideal answer, because you get to just keep playing it over and over. I'm lower on health than I'd like. This is a bit of a rougher start than you typically get with this deck. That will help. Voodoo Ducks is pretty important to keep healing for one mana. And my Exner will just bounce it, which means you get to basically keep playing a Restore 2 health every turn. Alkanai would be pretty helpful right now. Wild Pyro would be pretty helpful. Boom. Thank you. Do you like to play with fire? Oh yeah. Holy smite this. So this is where Wild Pyro just becomes the bomb. You just keep being able to do AoE damage. And what's even better against my Exna, in most games you leave a 3-1 Wild Pyro out, it is dead. In this game, you get it back. I'm going to be able to play more combos next turn. And I've upgraded my hero power to something which does 3 damage, which is great for keeping the board clear. Let's heal straight up. Don't have a good reason to kill this since it'll spawn a 4-4. Hopefully, my Exna does not have an enabler. So now the board, I shouldn't jinx it, but the board's pretty under control. A sea giant would be about the worst thing, because I still don't have my big game hunter. If 
I could get a 4-4 four four on my side. Get this down to a 1-1. One one. How would shield it? Yeah, I think I will start being fancy here. That dealt with both her minions very effectively. Oh, that's really weird. You see how the Nerubian cast three mana, even though... Oh, not necessarily weird, actually. Okay, now this is one of the few cards that's actually pretty tough to deal with. I... I think I just don't have a way of dealing with it, honestly. My hero power cannot target it. I can play a spell to bring it down to a 5. I don't have an Alcani that combos really well with Voodoo Doctor. What I think I'm going to do is just use Alex Straza offensively, do some healing. If I can deal with this, I should win. I also have my big game now for Sea Giants. So Alex Straws I use in this deck purely offensively. I don't think I've ever healed with her in this deck. You just want to save you a bunch of damage. I mean, you whittle, You don't need her. You can whittle it, my Exna down with your hero power doing 3 damage per turn. If you don't have Alex Straws, I would probably just sub in a... Uh, charger, like Arcane Golem, because the sole point is to do repeated damage to my Exner. I can take that out. I think I will. Got a sea giant. Not that helpful. I mean, I could play it. I don't think it helps much at this point. Oh, oops. Oops, oops, oops. I'm doing three per turn with your hero power. I basically just need to survive this somehow. Wanna... I don't want to risk playing something because then one of these could get sapped, and I think I need them both. That was a misplay, I, sh I thought my circle of healing would kill the shade. And now I'm getting pretty low in health, this is actually a little scary. I have my big game hunter, I'll be able to kill this thing and heal up a bit. I'd love a second spell, I do get one. Well, we're absolutely killing this. Three and four is seven, though. Yes, I need a shadow word pain. I'm still at risk of dying. It ended up being closer than I thought it would. I really need an Alcani to help me kill this thing. Oh no, two of them? You're kidding. But at least I'm not dead yet. I can circle with a wild pyro. That would actually do what, four, five damage. I don't have another spell though. I need like one more spell. So I'm actually gonna do what I said I never do, which is use Alex Straza for healing. Um, these are really are the hardest cards to deal with on the opposing side for this deck, and they're both out. And I'm like one spell away from being able to deal with everything. Master spell, be amazing. 
another wild pyro. That means if I play this two, four, eight. Yeah, I think I have to do that. Does it work after? No, because they die actually. Oh, it doesn't work. Am I going to lose this? 10 damage. 8. I cannot believe this. Holy moly. I can't risk putting that out there and having it killed because she probably has uh, t the two mana one that does that just kills a minion. Ah, this is going so well. It's just these guys that I haven't lost yet. Holy smite gets burned. Yeah, I need to be careful about that. That would have been pretty good actually. Four eight. I have to do. Now I'm gonna burn a card again. Don't have a choice. I think. Ah, this is going so well until two spectral knights. So usually the way you deal with it is like a mass to spell uh, or like a lot of spells. Damn it, a lot pyro. Speak a mass spell. They've been pretty handy right now. Four, eight, nine. If I could just kill fucking one of them. Oh, I can actually. But then there's two on ones out. But I think I need to start going for it. Okay, that's good. So yeah, Voodoo Doctor, usually it's for restoring two health, but it has this lovely perk, we'll call it, where it can also deal two damage comboed with Alcani. I think I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna burn another card because I played the Circle of Healing. I might just be able to survive now. It's so risky though, because I think I need to heal another turn. Because otherwise, like, a die wolf alpha kills me if I just kill that right now. Oh, or a spell with Wild Pyro. Shadow of Death is my only spell. No! I could go 2 and 6 is 8 and that's 3. Think of killing my own sea giants. Two and six is eight. I'm one mana short of doing that. Dope. How much damage do I have? Three and two is five as well. Yeah, I can't win yet. So buy more time. Can do one, two, six damage. Gonna burn another card. I haven't quite played this optimally. But you should at least be able to see how good Wild Pyro is, is in this false. context. I think I now do the crazy play. Two and five is seven and three. Like to gonna kill two things that are dogging me. Oh, 
Okay, now I can try to get control of this board again. Another the is Doctor, that's actually pretty good. Can do a bunch of healing. Oh, very cheap. I'll get them back. That I can kill, I can one shot. And again, we play the patience game. I now actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage because I can combo these Voodoo Doctors with Alcani, seven, eight, nine damage. Very close to one, two, three, four. Two damage, restore two. It's a 1 1, I don't really care about it. I'd prefer to just restore four health. Now, I might lose one of these now because you'll web 2 and probably necrotic something. I always forget its name, the thing that just kills it, but I have copies of them anyway. Can I push for the win yet? I had 357. Oh, yes. Okay, so I believe I win. So, now we get to go through the deck list. Requires a lot of patience, but I. this deck. But I believe it is very, very strong against my smash. I'll go through the reasons why. Okay, so let's look through the deck list. I call it Arsonist because the real goal of this deck is to repeatedly use Wild Pyromancer and cheap spells to clear the enemy board. You often get to the situation where there's like lots of 1-1s left or 1-2s that produce 1-1s. You chain together a few spells. Wild Pyro... Um, Power Word Shields, um, you know, Holy Smite, Circle of Healing when they're at 1 1s to keep your Wild Pyro alive and just can do so much damage and you get it back. So you can keep doing this over and over. Um, it also has the double shadow form, so you're doing damage with your hero power, which feels a little like an arsonist, and it has the Alcani Circle of Healing combo. So, Circle of Healing, you always, always, always want to save for your Alcani Soul Priest, or occasionally a good part of your Wild Pyro combos. That's it. It's good for like keeping your Wild Pyro alive if the things you're trying to kill are at full health. And, it's all, and your Wild Pyro is taking some damage. Silence is, again, a cheap spell to trigger your Wild Pyro while taking away an effect from an enemy, like those 1-2 Haunted Creepers or the Sludge Belcher. Holy Smite. So I think I mentioned this, but I'll repeat. Holy Smite and Mind Vision are, and power, are probably your most tempting spells to play in your early turns when you have nothing to do. Do not play them. Unless you really desperately need to kill something with Holy Smite, you want to save them for Wild Pyro. They just work so well in these combos. Mind Vision often gets you um, the two-mana spell that kills an enemy. I think it's the Necrotic Aura or something, which is a really good spell too. I uh, wouldn't get to see it in this game. It often gives you that because you're clearing out your opponent's minions and not ever playing really more than two minions. So he's never going to use that card, which means it's going to stay in his hand. So once you've cleared most of the board, it's like usually going to be one of like two cards in his hand when you play this. Power Word Shield. You always want to combo with your Wild Pyro. Does damage to all their creatures while helping keep your Wild Pyro alive so you can chain together more spells. And it draws you a card. You need to be a little bit careful of not getting to 10 cards and burning. I did in this game, 
Usually I don't put this deck, just something to watch out for. Voodoo Doctor is like one of the MVPs. For one, mana keeps restoring two health to you and gets bounced, and can combo with Alcani Soul Priest to deal two damage to the, the enemy hero, or hard to damage things like Spectral Knights. Shadow Word Pain, good for just getting rid of things like Sludge Belchers in one move, and combos with Wild Pyro. You usually want to save it to use with Wild Pyro, but um, sometimes you do need to just play it. Sludge Belcher is a pretty good example. Wild Pyroman, so hopefully you get the idea. This stick, you can win the game without drawing Wild Pyro. Last night, a few games, it was like near the bottom of my deck. I never saw it, or I'd already won by the time I did. Um, but it's a, if you get it, you're just in such good shape because there's so many cheap spells to play with it. I, th I think I mentioned the mulligan. You want a mulligan exclusively for Wild Pyromancer, Powered Shield, because it's such a good combo with this, and Alcani Soul Priest. No, sorry, not Alcani Soul Priest. Holy Nova, which we'll get to. Okay, Shadow Word Death is basically just for Anabar Ambushes and in a pinch Sea Giants if you don't have your big game hunter yet. Anabar Ambusher, by the way, you usually want to kill before killing other stuff because it'll bounce something back, so it's one less thing you need to deal with that turn. Shadow Forms are your ways of killing the enemy and really helping clear the board. Like, you can just kill two health things for free, essentially, at that point, um, and eventually it's the way you're going to whittle down your opponent and kill him because whenever the board is stable, you just push three damage to the enemy. Uh, one thing I mentioned, but I'll repeat, is when you play this card, you can reuse your hero power that turn. So you can, for example, heal yourself, play Shadow Form, deal two damage. can be really useful. What's even crazier is if you're in Shadow Form, you can deal two damage to something with your hero, play Shadow Form, deal another three damage. That's five damage. You can take out a Sludge Belcher instantly with your hero power. Big Game Hunter um, is for taking out Sea Giants pretty exclusively. Master Spell often ends up being really useful. Um, for things like Spectral Knights, you suddenly can target them with your hero power and cards. Um, a board full of those Haunted Creepers, the 1-2s that produce 1-1s, one you, I, I think we saw in this game, you Master Spell the board on turn 4, Holy Nova in turn 5, really nice combo. Um, and it triggers your Wild Pyro, it's just an extra spell. I mean, there's basically everything the enemy plays has an effect you want to get rid of, so Master Spell just comes in handy a lot, even though it's expensive. Shadow Madness um, triggers your Wild Pyro, and you really want to play this when you can kill something with an effect, a positive Death Rattle effect, so that you get the effect. Like in Arubian Egg, you get the 4-4, deprive your opponent, or do a 2 for 1 trade like um, Emperor Cobra into Emperor Cobra. And it combos with Wild Pyro, so another spell that's pretty powerful in this deck. Alcani is there pretty exclusively to combo with Circle of Healing and the Voodoo Doctors, where you can do 2 damage at will for 1 mana. And if you have not drawn your Shadow Forms, it can combo with your Hero Power to do 2 damage. Holy Nova is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's just, it's your third way of AoE after the Wild Pyro combos, the Alcani Circle of Healing. You just often need to do two damage to everything and restores your two health as a bonus. Alex Straza is the only legendary in this deck. Um, I, this last game was the first game, I think, with this deck where I've had to use it defensively, mostly just because both Spectral Knights were out at the same time, without any of my answers like um, Master Spell, Alcani, Voodoo Doctor, um, things like that. Generally, it's here just to do damage to the enemy, to save you time and bring them do 30 damage, basically. If you don't have Alex Stralza, you don't need it in this deck, it's not critical. Um, I would replace it with a charger like Arcane Golem, just so you have some way once you're in control of the board to keep doing 4 damage to the enemy repeatedly, um, in addition to your hero power, which in the long run will be doing 3 damage repeatedly, while you can heal yourself with Voodoo Doctor for 2, damage, for two health. 
Um, that's a pretty awesome combo. You're doing 4, 7 damage to him each turn and healing yourself for 2. So it can be done without Alexstrasza if you don't have it. But it does just speed up the game a lot by doing 30 damage instantly once the board is stable and getting you closer to killing them. And that is the Arsonist Priest deck. It is very strong against my ex now. I think I've probably won about um, two-thirds of the games I've played against her with this deck. I'd say it's very reliable. Um, it is a little bit combo dependent, so you can get a really bad start. It's, but you have a lot of answers in this. And once you draw your Wild Pyro, you just keep dealing one damage to everything repeatedly, getting it back every turn. You're going to be able to make massive inroads into her board. Eventually, she'll run out of cards. Spectral Knight is the trickiest thing to deal with. Um, that's what Master Spell is for. Arcanai plus Voodoo Doctor is effective because it can target that. Um, that is that. Um, I think I've covered this deck in depth enough. Um, have fun playing it. It's a lot of fun to play. You get to control the board a lot, do a lot of crazy combos with your Wild Pyromancer, and just whittle your opponent down and eventually win.